So I just set up my first electrolysis tank ever. I think it's working. This is a test. This old hook I found. Check it out. This is awesome. I really hope it works. I'll get that hopefully trade axe in here. And if this test goes well, I will keep you posted. Look at that. I drilled a little hole in the bottom there. I got rid of the wire. So I wasn't sure if it was galvanized or not. I don't think it was, but this is stainless. Look at that baby bubbling. few hours later oh that's nasty I think she needs a little more time not bad though So I've had the axe set in here for probably 10 hours total. Take, taking it out here and there, making sure it's doing all right, taking some of the excess rust off. It's working out amazing. I got this. Everything I want to put through electrolysis. This is awesome. And that's about gonna do it. I'm gonna fill that hole in. Some epoxy. I don't wanna go anymore. It's getting a little thin right here. It's pretty bad. Right in here. But. I put it in for another three hours, and right about here, there's no real change. So, it's not really worth it. It's just about done. Just gotta wait for my wax to come in. Seal this baby up. All right, so, a little while later, like a few months, I just had to throw this thing back in some electrolysis last night to get some of the surface rust off. This is as far as I want to go with it because this right here is bad. I don't want to lose it. And I'm going to fill this hole in afterwards as well. But I got all my surface rust off. I'm going to throw this one in too. This is a replica. See that right there? Damn. I had high hopes for that too, especially where I found it. I got the grill going. 
not quite there yet. I got it on real low. This paraffin wax has a super low flash point, so you got to be very, very, very careful with it. Monitor your temperatures like crazy. And make sure that none spill out because I'm not trying to cause a fire. So, safety first, everybody. I recommend doing your research before you try anything like this. We'll see you when the wax is all melted. We'll go from there. Well, we're getting there. I don't want this thing going past 220. It needs to be over 212 so all the water can boil out of this, all the moisture. And that's about it. I also threw in that iron gel harp I found a while back because I noticed it started flaking in the display. I want to get it sealed off and stop the corrosion process, stabilize. Get this thing nice and stabilized. That I'm actually just going to throw on the handle because it's more modern reproduction. Cool. We'll check in when we got some more of this one melted. Okay, getting closer. About 200 degrees. And these will start bubbling pretty soon. You can see some of these bubbles right there. See them coming up? That's the moisture inside starting to boil off. So once that gets going and uh, stops, then they're ready to come out. Sweet. My temperature is just about where I want it. I don't really want it getting much warmer than this. And look at that. I threw in some of my skeleton keys too. That little toy cap gun, 1800s cap gun. But look at that thing, man. Look at that moisture boiling out of there. Alright, I'm going to let this go for a little while, keep checking this temp, and hopefully not too much longer and these things will be nice and preserved. Alright, so these stopped bubbling, so I'm pretty sure all the moisture's out of these. This one, still going, I'm going to leave it in for a while, because that's really, like, important. <laughs> I get this one especially stabilized because it was in real rough shape when I found it. <sighs> so once these are, well, these are pretty much cool to the touch. So I'm just going to hit them with a quick brush and a hard bristle brush like this. And that's just about it. That's all you really need to do. So I'm going to get at this and uh, I'll see you when this thing's ready. We are just about there. There's still a little bit coming from that edge, which I'm gonna let do its thing. Perfect. Shouldn't be long now, maybe 10 minutes. I'm gonna take it out and let it cool off. I'll bring it back in and show you what it looks like before I hit it with the brush and after. Here's what it looks like wet, fresh out. Let the excess oil soak in, dry up a little, let this thing cool down, because it is not, I'm gonna fill this hole once it's cool too. Uh, Cause it's not, yeah, that's too hot to handle. And I'm just gonna let that solidify. I have this bowl specifically for this purpose. So it's working out, Whew, awesome, very happy. So once this thing dries up a little bit, cools off, I'll bring it back in. If I can get the thing in the picture frame. <laughs> All right, it's getting windy out here, so this thing's cooling off quick. She is dried up, a little bit of wet oil left, or wax. But see how it's kind of got that little shine to it? Hitting it with this brush, I guess, roughs it up enough so it looks more natural. Let me, uh, let me do that. I'll bring it back in. There she is, all done. Look at 
And there you have it folks, start to finish. All I have left to do is fill that little hole, get the color matched, and that's it. But I won't bore you with that in case it comes out crappy. <laughs> Whew, all right, on to my next adventure. This electrolysis process is it's very fun. It's actually been pretty good to do over the winter here. The ground's thawing, starting to get warmer. Let's do it. Now to figure out how I want to display. 